this channel really is supposed to be about woodwork, building a business and building a furniture brand. I don't feel that good. It's kind of descended into just being a guy sitting alone in a chair, drinking glasses of beer. Fairly busy day today, working on the project with the beds and the wardrobes that I'm installing for the company I've been working for. There's still a lot more work to do there, but some of the areas of where I've been working are almost done, but there's a few bits and pieces still to finish on them. So I think today I'm gonna to go around in all the areas where I've been working and try and finish them up so I can move on from them completely and then get started on the, the new areas in the house that need working on. It's been a pretty busy week, um, fairly productive. I've been there doing paid site work all week. Oh my goodness. Oh. And then trying to fit in some time on working on the furniture brand in the evenings. Even though I've been busy doing the site work, there's been some progress with the furniture brand because Alex who's got the CNC machine has managed to get the uh, prototype for the phone stands <clears throat> cut out just so we could do like a test run and see how the product actually looks and, and is in reality before we run it through and produce a whole sheet of birch plywood. Um, I think a, a sheet of birch plywood is I don't know somewhere in the price of what would be the equivalent of maybe $200, something like that, for a sheet. And if I run off a whole sheet, that will produce maybe 30 or 40 uh, pieces for, for each of the products. So one sheet of the plywood produces quite a lot of, of the product. But what it means is if, if Alex runs off a whole sheet and I end up with 30 pieces for each product and there's a detail with the products that I, that I don't like, or I want to change, it's going to be a pain to have to go and do that by hand on each piece because it's just going to be so many individual pieces. So he's done a prototype on a piece of MDF and then we can look at it, see how it is, see what changes might need to be made, if any, and then run off a whole sheet of plywood. I wish I could be in the workshop working on more stuff myself or even at home working on the things on the computer to like develop the website and uh, the Etsy store and, and, thing, and, uh, and the media, the social media stuff for the furniture brand. But there's a lot of carpentry work available at the moment and uh, I haven't had so much of that over the last few months. So while the work is available there and there's money that I can earn, I really need to go and do that just to keep paying bills. And uh, I'm hoping over time there'll be a shift and I could start to do less site work and spend more time working on the furniture brand. For now, I'm, I can't complain. I've got work that I can go and do and earn money. I've got the workshop all geared out, so any spare time I do get, I can go in there and continue working on new products and developing things. And then in the evenings, uh, or whenever I have time, If I'm not too tired, I just keep pushing on with the, the YouTube channel and, and the social media stuff for the furniture brand. So it's, uh, it's good times right now, I guess. I, I have very little that I should complain about. I'm happy that there is opportunity uh, in front of me. So I'm gonna do my best to take it and, uh, and make the most of it. I am gonna do my usual stop pick up a coffee and a pastry on the way to give me a little bit of a boost and a bit of motivation. And then I'll be onto the, the site and then I'll be working there all day, trying to straighten things out a little bit and get things organized before the weekend.
Oh my god. Oh no, you don't want that. You don't want that. I thought I'd try something new. I think this might have been a gift from Big Dean. And that's not that I'm ungrateful. But it's beer made with passion fruit. I don't really want to leave this bit in because uh, I don't want to hurt his feelings, but that's not for me. I can't, yeah, I don't know, beer with passion fruit. I don't actually know what passion fruit is. I don't know if I've ever eaten a passion fruit. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't really go that well with beer for me. Maybe I'm a bit more low end. When the camera came out there, when I was recording in the car, I was already in the mindset of uh, having not had the best day. Actually, that's not that accurate. It's not that I haven't had the best day. It's more the case that I hadn't, the day didn't pan out the way I was expecting it to or the way I'd hoped it would. There's a very little chance of me having days where I feel happy with the progress that I've made or how productive I've been. If I have a great day and things go really well, I just take that as normal and I get to the end of the day and I think, yeah, okay, that was an all right day. And then if I have a day where it's just a normal level of productivity or progress, I really start to give myself a hard time and I just don't feel good about the day. So it just means, I guess, I know 75% of the time, the chances are that I'm going to be disappointed with the way the day went. I really got to work on that because uh, it's just not realistic, I guess, to expect to have a great day with progress and productivity every day. And that's kind of what, uh, that's the standards I kind of set on myself. And it was a bit like that today. Like, the day went fine, got up this morning, went to work, got some things done, made some progress, pushed forward further ahead today now than I was yesterday. So there's, no, there's nothing wrong with today, but it just wasn't a day where you look back and you're overly impressed with with what's been achieved. So then I feel, I, I, I am left feeling deflated. Yeah, it's like every day I need to achieve something of like real significance. Otherwise I just feel like oh, I haven't done anything today or I haven't got anything done. It's me doing it to myself, but it gets a bit exhausting. If I hadn't started the YouTube channel and making these videos, I probably would just be sitting out here in the chair, drinking a beer, like stewing on the way the day went and how it didn't go the way I wanted. But by making the videos and having the YouTube channel, and then people watching the videos and interacting with the comments and stuff, it gives me a purpose to be sitting out here. Because maybe I wouldn't, maybe I wouldn't come and sit out here and sit outside for 15 minutes and drink a beer and take it in. I probably wouldn't, I'd probably go and find something to do to try and be productive. But because of the, the channel and the videos and stuff, then uh, sitting here, chatting to the camera, chatting to you, making a video, seems worthwhile. But anyway, it's Friday today and I don't have to go to a site tomorrow to do any work. I'm going to be off now for the weekend, so I'm hoping to get back in the workshop and uh, work on some more of the products and designs that I want to work on for the furniture brand and also put a little bit of time into the Etsy store on the website because I really need, or I would really like to start selling uh, a few products, not even many, just a few. Or, uh, you know, I actually haven't sold any products through the website or through the Etsy store yet. So I haven't had that experience. So I would like to figure out a way to achieve that. So this weekend, I'm gonna try and put some time into that, film some content for the furniture brand and get back into it. And hopefully the videos will start to be a little bit more about woodwork and the furniture brand and building a business and uh, a little bit less about me sitting in the garden on my own.